as we all know that perfect planning prevents poor performance for any surgery. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. Preoperative planning is very important part for surgery of open or closed wedge high tibial osteotomy. The most reliable method for planning of HTO is as described by Miniaki. First, we must take full length hip knee ankle x-ray with a single exposure of radiation. Draw a line parallel to ankle joint. Now draw a line joining from center of head of femur to center of ankle joint, which usually passes from medial compartment of knee in varus deformity. This is mechanical axis of affected lower limb. Next step is to draw a line 1, extending from center of head of femur through a coordinate of 60 to 70 percent of tibial plateau width and extend up to a line parallel to ankle joint. Now mark the hinge point H of osteotomy which is superior tibiofibular joint for open wedge osteotomy. Next step is to draw a line 2, connecting hinge point H to center of ankle joint. Now draw a line 3, connecting to hinge point H to the arc of intersection of line 1 with line parallel to ankle joint. The angle formed by line 2 and line 3 is our correction angle alpha for the open wedge high tibial osteotomy. If we open the wedge according to this measurement while doing open wedge osteotomy, we can shift the weight bearing axis, exactly where we have planned. Similarly, if we are planning for closed wedge HTO, hinge point will be on medial side of proximal tibia. If we remove the wedge exactly according to this measurement and close the osteotomy site, we can shift the weight bearing axis exactly where we have planned. If you find this video is useful and informative then don't forget to share with your friends. For more videos about high tibial osteotomy visit our website drdineshthacker.com.